Watch, your gamma doesn't have to hit to effectively use your beta. I miss and boom, look at all that damage. Keep watching to see how this game goes. I'm the CEO, it's mega chop, mega chop, you already know. We've got some spicy dinky action. This game is really a good highlight of great teamwork though because I couldn't have soloed this game without the teammates that I had. The interesting part is this is a completely rando team but watch how we all play around each other and together even though we've never played a game together in our lives. So it starts out great. Look, they're marking loot. Uh, I'm gonna mark some loot probably, hopefully here, maybe in a minute. I don't know. They, they mark loot. That's good for me, right? <laughs> so, but we are going to quickly run into a Cementos and uh, uh, Kirishima. My, my team does some quick work, though. They hop right into the fights. They nuke two people off the rip. Uh, and like I said, maybe I ping some cards for them. I don't remember. But I promise the looting is just about to be over because we are going to fight a very annoying Cementos and a Kirishima that is also annoying. And they really take a bit of work from our trio to take down this duo because they're both good at what they do. See? Look, pinging more cards. Well, my teammates are. Maybe, it, it, okay, if, if I actually got cards for my teammates, I'd ping them, okay? To be fair. Okay, so here we get the stun on Cementos. I thought I was going to get the down. So I full sent it. I went into dummy mode, the 1.3 million overload, and I didn't get the down. This Cementos, I was like, this is weird. Why is he not healing? But look at look at this man. He's got the jukes. Here, I got my elf off a little too late, unfortunately. If I got it off, I, I think he goes down right there. So now I'm just hunting around for Cementos. Like, where in the world did this boy go? And I go into this room, and then I wind up hearing, it sounds like my team is back in the scuffle. Look at that. You see the guard break? And uh, I've got Froppy and Toga as teammates, which are amazing. Boom. There is the Kirishima. I, I guess I oversold. He, he really didn't do a whole lot. Uh, I must have been thinking of a different game. I don't know. But here I go. I stun the Cementos again. He gets knocked out of it uh, by Froppy, I think, right there. Um, and then I'm like, you know what? I'm a beta. Look at how the beta hits, even as Cementos is going up on his pillar. I knew he had to be basically one shot. I leaned very heavily on the Gamma on Denki because I I'm trying to capture and figure out, is this guy really OP if you lean on that a lot? Or do people just need to learn how to play around Denki better? So uh, I might do a couple more videos like this, testing it out, but we'll see. Uh, this Momo actually I, I thought was going to play a bit like a bot, but I didn't realize until after she, she was dropping her special action there. She must have been uh, low health. Obviously, she plus ultraed pretty quickly there. Uh, and she did well with the cannons. Her alpha in plus ultra, I definitely didn't respect it enough. She put a whooping on me. <laughs> but ultimately, we got the down on her, so that feels good. Now, uh, our froppy's down. I could have let her auto-revive, but this did genuinely get her up a bit quicker than letting her finish out the six-second timer. So, Plus, I try to make sure that any rando teammates know that yeah i am genuinely trying to play with you I'm, I'm trying to be a team player uh you know because this game is heavily team based if you're one of those people who's playing this game thinking you can solo every game you might be able to solo some things but you can't solo everything prove me wrong drop me a link in the comments if you got video that shows you can relentlessly solo lobbies all by yourself and you don't need a team ultimately this is definitely a a, a skill uh, a game that has a skill gap is what I'm trying to say. Um, that if you're going up a complete uh, up against a completely new team and you're one of the aces that I see out here murking in rank lobbies, okay, go to unranked. Sure, you can one v three teams, but if you're in ranked and you're playing some skilled players, it's it's just not happening. This is definitely 
a team-based game. All right, my team-based rant is off. Sorry, I don't even know where that came from. Uh, people can play however they want to play. But I'm trying to be a team player. I do come from the old school COD days. Who's Hey, who's with me? Drop it in the comments if you used to play some old school COD. Uh, and those were Rambo days. You really didn't play with a team. You were like, I can go out and I can kill the whole enemy team by myself. I just learn where the spawns are and I just start nuking people. So this was a bit of a lull in the game. It is about to spice up. It, it definitely is. My team is over here though. And I know from myself that playing Denki previously if if i go solo I, I i got two gammas but i got a gamma to get in and a gamma to get out and the the gamma only gets you so far if there's a bakugo he's out moving me if uh there's a dank uh, uh, a deku like i just saw there he's out moving me but here's a shoto stun beta down like, it, it, it is crazy if you catch them off guard. And I'm like, wait, where did Shoto go? He disappeared. And then I saw the froppy flying, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Here, I'm ready to get the down. I'm pumped. I'm like, yeah, I got one. Let's go. Nope. Nope. Froppy's like, not today. Not today. But then, who's this? Oh, we got Endeavor trying to save Coda? Nope. Nope. That's my Coda, son. I'm, I'm saving Coda. I'm the number one hero now, okay? Endeavor is going down. He got punished trying to get Coda. I'm like, this is going to pay off if we can try and get Froppy up. You're going to see it gets a bit dicey, though, at parts. And I, I, I think in one spot in the game, I'm like, I don't know that we get Froppy up. So I feel bad. I, I do start to use him a little bit premature. But uh, here we go. I go to stun a Froppy. Uh, don't get Froppy. But I got a twice clone, I think. Uh, I think it was the clone, which what a waste of a beta, but it's all good. So uh, here, I know that I got to keep my shields up high because I've seen a Deku around here. There's another Froppy that who knows where she's at. Uh, and I think I saw two different Froppy skins. So I'm, I'm like, there's two to three different teams here. This Kiri gives me some problems. You're about to see, we got Dobby, which isn't a good mix, inside of a building. Let's, let's, let's pick apart the decisions that I make here. Kirishima and Dobby in a building, and I'm, I'm chasing into the building, but look at this. This beta is a beautiful beta. I know I can jump, and I can hit him. There's a lot of stuff in the way, so that, that was a good call. Then I beta again right there. Because we're in limited space. Here, I go ahead, I get the stun, and I get the down on Kiri. But the Dobby's there, and I'm like, okay, I, I know I need to shield. I should be quick shielding here. That's another piece. But even still, Dobby hits me, and I know, okay, Gamma away. And only do I stop here without running further because it's a Dobby. And this building, who's with me, is a complete pain in the butt to use a speed card and get up on top of from that side of the street. Like, it's, I, I don't think it's happening. So I was like, I, I'm pretty safe. I'm pretty safe from this guy. I knew Toga was bouncing around. Here again, the, the Gamma Beta combo should not be slept on. I have gotten downed and killed by the Gamma Beta combo from Denki's far more than the Gamma Alpha combo. So it, it, it's just quicker to do. You don't have to aim. You just go straight into it seamlessly and you start pumping damage. So we, uh, thankfully, Toga got the revive cards. She got Froppy up, which is clutch. Uh, tried to drop her everything that I had. I, I didn't really have a whole lot for her at that point. Um, and we have two other teams now at this point that we have to worry about to finish out the game. Uh, trying to make sure getting back up to full health, really, especially when you're playing ranked. I know I've said this in a past video. You have to make sure that you are keeping yourself topped up as much as possible. I see aces do this all the time. I myself am ace, but I'm saying... I, I, I'm trying to learn because I know 
there are a lot of aces that are at a higher skill level than I am and I'm watching everything that they do every time I get killed by aces I'm watching what they do and I will see them knock somebody into invulnerability and then pop a mini shield pot or a mini health pot and I will see people break out of skirmishes even if they're missing like 30 hit points to finish off and top up, make sure they have full health. Because if, as you've seen, there's some scenarios where a few hit points can make a difference between death or survival. And here we go. Look at this. We missed the gamma, but the beta hits through walls. If you're playing Denki, remember the beta hits through walls. You can do so many outplay type maneuvers with your beta that it is unbelievable it is it is really fun to go on the outside of a building knowing that somebody's on the other side of the wall and just beta them through the wall or if cement toss pillars up above you jump up and beta if he doesn't have a, a leveled up alpha very far you actually can beta cement toss just by normal jumping now if he's got level 9 alpha yeah you may have to gamma up to shoot him uh not shoot him but hit him with your with your beta so hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay definitely more some some more team-based things in here uh let me know what you want to see in future videos drop it down in the comments i'm definitely here to make videos that you guys enjoy watching and if you haven't already please like subscribe and uh again drop it in the comments what do you want to see in the future thanks for supporting bye